Hello friends, happy Monday to you. Today I want to share with you how I'm doing on the Yellowstone book and also a part of the process that I'm doing differently this time that is just a little weird. So I thought maybe some of you would be interested in it because I know a lot of you make um, books or other photo projects with your own work. So, okay, to get us started in case you don't know what I'm talking about. I go on these big trips where I focus on creating a book and a video that really tell the story of the trip and the place that I'm going. And hopefully you get to experience the place through the photography. I know it's kind of a lofty goal to think that you would understand the place and kind of have a feeling about it. But yeah, that's my goal with, with each of these books and trips. So, Typically, you all will see the books in ebook format, but I have this one here. Um, my Grand Canyon patrons receive a hard copy of the book. So anyway, um, here's the idea. I share with you lots of photos and also some little stories throughout the book. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but little stories throughout the book. Also, I have been sharing all of the shooting data. So the camera, the lens, the, you know, aperture, ISO, shutter speed, uh, because I know you all like to see that too. Not that it really helps you understand the place, but I know you like to know about gear. So I did start including that recently as well. So I am hoping to be done with this Yellowstone book by the end of this week, fingers crossed everybody that I can get through my artistic process. Um, but here's what I did differently this time. So normally when I get back from a trip, I just go through and start rejecting images, the ones that I know won't work for the book. Even if I like the image and think like I would want to hang that on my wall, if it doesn't work with my vision of the book, I'm just not going to use it. I'll use it later. <laughs> you know, I will go back to it later on. But, um, you know, rejecting, rejecting, rejecting. And then once I, you know, really call the images back, um, just to give you an idea on this trip, this trip was a little bit different because this is the first time I'm actually including Raymond's photos as well. Um, I'm really excited to share his work with you guys as well because he's been on all these trips. So like, you know, why not share his work with you all? So anyway, I kind of have twice the amount of images this time, but I had over 3000 to be fair. Those were image and video files. Um, but yeah, it's a lot to go through. So I went through all those. I wound up with like, I don't know, I think I was starting to get to like 300 images when I kind of realized that I was having trouble visualizing the book and kind of the story that I was going to try to tell and how things would fit together. Um, I take care in how I order things in the book. And, you know, it's not always just chronological order or by subject or, you know, anything like that. I, I really do try to kind of have a flow through the book that is, you know, pleasing and, and helps you understand the place. So um, I was having trouble visualizing that because I had so, because I had so many photos, first of all, but also because Take, for example, the snowy bison photos. I have a ton of snowy bison photos, which is great, except that they're in different places in the timeline. And also, I didn't know, I couldn't just decide which one I was gonna use. You know, I could probably cover my eyes and point on the screen, right? Like that one, that's the one I'm gonna use because they're all great. They're all, you know, beautiful snowy bison, but like I said, I do take care to make sure that things look good together. So I want to make sure that the composition of photos that are going to be next to each other or even next to each other in an ebook that you're, you know, flipping through on a screen, I want to make sure it all meshes well. So I didn't just want to choose one of the snowy bison images. I wanted to know what was going to go next to it or immediately after it so that I could make everything work together, the colors, the composition, everything. So long-winded story uh, to say that I decided to print 
all of the images that I had. So I edited, I actually, to be fair, I think I said I had about like two or 300. I actually called it back a little bit more. I, I ended up with like 230, something like that, 223 or something. And I edited every single one of them. And not that it's that difficult. I don't edit my images all that much, but I did have to for some of these because of these crazy situations with the white, white snow and the dark, dark bison. Um, anyway, uh, I got it down to the, the minimum that I could and went online, found the cheapest, quickest way to uh, print my images and it just ended up being one a local drugstore and they had a sale for like 10 cents a print for four by sixes and yeah I sent them all over online and <laughs> printed them all and it took like just a little over an hour and I had all of my images so right now I have them all spread out on the ground next to me <laughs> so at least almost almost all of them um, I'm trying to kind of put them in categories right now and I've started to take out the ones that Oh, I can see now, now that it's printed out and next to all these other ones, I can see now which ones might not work. So I've been able to already take some out of the stack of potential, you know, candidates for the final book. But I, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I know it's not the most novel idea to have proofs, but, you know, being someone who works for themselves, I don't typically make proofs. Um, I typically just do everything in the computer. So, but this time I did, I, I'm actually physically going on the floor on my hands and knees, you know, just trying to like rearrange these photos into a story. So anyway, I thought that might be interesting to you. I don't know. Uh, if it's not, I'm sorry, but that's it, everybody. I am always curious about your process, though. If you are making a book or a calendar or whatever it is, do you do proofs? Do you just do it in the computer? Um, yeah, let me know. And that's it, everybody. Um, members, I'll put a link to Member Monday down below. And everybody, thanks for watching. I'll be back later this week with more from this Yellowstone trip and hopefully the book itself. Talk to you soon.